Hi everyone. Um, I've been getting a few emails from you guys asking what the status of the chainmail suit is. And to be honest, I, I really haven't gotten much done as far as the actual physical construction. Uh, but I do have reasons behind it. Um, obviously the reason why I haven't done a video in a while is because I really haven't made any progress on it. Now I haven't made any progress with the physical chainmail. Um, and, and kind of the reason for that is because I've just been trying to make millions and millions of these little rings, which, I mean, it just takes so much time to do. And in fact, let me tilt the camera down. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is what I have right now. Um, basically, I just went on a spree of just trying to get as much of this done as possible and it has been a total pain in the ass. <clears throat> I'm not going to say it's not worth it to to do this. Um, it's definitely been a very interesting experience. Um, I think just the key to making one of these is you really just have to take it in parts. You know, don't work too much on one thing. Always change it up a little bit. So do a little bit of, you know, making these coils, do a little bit of making rings, and do a little bit of actually building. Uh, obviously, the most rewarding thing you can do is is when you're actually putting the chain mail together because you start to see progress. Uh, and one of the, the best things that I found out that you can do is build flat sections of the suit that don't require, you know, that aren't very complex. Like, don't work on a hand and then immediately work on the other hand or work on you know the foot or, or something that that's a little more complex um, if you start to get bored or you start to get frustrated uh, work on like the chest or, or work on a leg or you know something where you can just make a gigantic sheet um, because it's amazing how quickly you power through that stuff um, so basically what I've got here is this was this is all I have left of the material, which, if that gives you any idea of how much uh, work I've actually been doing, it's actually quite a lot, because this used to be 100 feet of steel wire, and so I was able to completely go through the entire spool, um, coil, you know, obviously <laughs> a lot of these uh, I've already cut down, this is what's left of about you know a stack about this high and twice as long of all these uh, coils and you know my goal like I said don't get too focused on one thing because my hands are killing me from using these cutters to to chop these down that's why I said it's, it's just so crucial that you really do break it up um, and don't do too much at a time because you just get sick of it but since I'm so close to being finished with this um, I just want to get these done so that I can say that I'm officially done with this part um, until of course I have to buy another hundred foot spool of wire but that'll that'll be another video down the road where I start ranting to you guys about how this was such a bad idea and I should have never started this process or Hopefully we, we, we won't get to the point where I come on and, uh, and make a video saying I give up, I quit, forget it, and then maybe I'll like sell it to someone and someone can continue my work. Hopefully we won't get to that point. Um, it's just, I, I can tell this is going to take me a really, really long time. But the good news is I'm almost done with this, and as you can tell, I have just, I mean, a ton of these little rings. There are so many of them in here. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to starting to put all these together and uh, and really start making uh, some chain mail. So here, here in the next few days um, I want to uh, fix the arm. I, I know how I'm gonna fix the arm from the, the problems that I showed you in the last video. Um, I just need to sit down and do it. So as soon as I finish all these I'm gonna get that fixed. And then, uh, and then I'm going to start working, I guess, uh, across the chest and maybe onto the other arm. I'm not really sure which direction I'm going to go yet, but I definitely want to do something, like I said, where, where I can make a lot of progress so that I just kind of feel good about this whole project and, you know, make it actually look like I'm getting somewhere with it. 
So that's pretty much it for right now. Um, I guess uh, I'll make another video as soon as I get done with this and get the arm fixed. So I'll show you what I did on the the arm to actually uh, kind of expand it out. That way uh, you can get an idea, and uh, we'll just go from there. So thanks for uh, thanks for staying uh, staying tuned, guys. And if you guys have any other questions, you know you can always reach me here on this uh, page. Or for those of you that do have my direct email, feel free to contact me direct or um, some of you have contacted me through the Tesla list and and that's fine too um, I'll be honest I, I don't always read the list um, you know just after so many years of having that email come in you just kind of ignore it sometimes um, so if you really do want to get in touch with me please uh, do it here through the website so you know that way it goes direct to my email and and I do try to read all of those um, you know as long as it's not too many I'll, I'll at least respond to you and say hey I got your email um, I got about 500 others that I'm answering right now but uh, but I will definitely uh, at least get back to you and, and acknowledge the fact that you've contacted me so it's it's a lot better way like I said than, than doing it on the Tesla list so um, so that's pretty much it guys thanks for uh, Thanks for staying tuned, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.